is Mike Lipman. I'm president founder and the CEO of Mike's International. I'm here today to get you a lot of amazing information because today's video is about how to learn English free of cost. It means you don't need to spend even a single penny and then outstanding a single pence or penny you can learn how to speak English and I'm going to share uh, 33 resources resources which you can uh, use and available 24 or 7 by 365 around you you just need to tap all these information and you need to tap all these resources and you would learn how to speak English and that is amazing video so don't miss it and if you have not subscribed this channel so don't wait just subscribe it right now and you will get a lot of amazing information a lot of amazing podcasts which is gonna help you really to speak like native speakers and to speak with a fluency and I'm here I'm, I'm your friend and I'm, I'm gonna share everything uh, like without using any resources so uh, even I'm making these videos without uh, uh, using a uh, lot of uh, money over the cash. So uh, it's like uh, freelancing is kind of uh, free mentoring and all kind of information you will get without spending a single penny. Uh, well, I have two rules of speaking English. My first rule is um, I have no rule. I have no rule for speaking English. This is my first rule. And my second rule is I follow my first rule. So uh, before you get started with me, I want you to repeat after me because we will start from uh, positive affirmation because affirmation are significant in your life and affirmation can help you to convert all your thoughts and words into the reality. So let's go with the positive uh, affirmation. So this is my most important and uh, this is what I like it the most and I use this affirmation everywhere on the globe and I have created a lot of people speaking English like native speakers. So that's my most favorite. Uh, affirmation so repeat after me I love to speak English don't speak it just with your mouth just speak it from bottom of your heart bottom of your heart okay and repeat after me again I love to speak English and now say I'm incredible believe in yourself and now say again repeat after me I'm incredible can you repeat after me again if you have uh, tap this video if you have clicked this video right away so repeat after me I love to speak English I'm incredible I have enough vocabulary this is all the motivation you need to give yourself all right so let's get started so the first point is uh, you need to bring positive vibes the positive vibes mean I personally applied this rule in my life and I started to speak English like native speakers. Positive vibes mean you, you need to feel like you are a native speaker. You need to believe in yourself and you need to give yourself a confidence by saying and by bringing positive feeling in your life. Just feel like that you are a native speaker. Don't feel like you're a non-native speaker, you don't have enough vocabulary, you are struggling with pronunciation, intonation, or phrasal words, or the words. Just delete all these files from back of your mind and just start it, just start saying that I am a native speaker. I can speak English like native speaker. There's one law you can apply in your life that is the law of visualization. Visualize yourself. It's a visualization. So in, in visualization, there is a process. You need to uh, say many a time in a day that I can speak like a native speaker. I can speak like native speakers and you need to maximize uh, its frequency. You need to say many a time in a day. Say many a time in a day. I'm incredible speaker. I have enough vocabulary. I love to speak English. I want to change my life and say many a time. And now the question is how many times you say and uh, uh, what is the intensity you are saying this you you need to speak it from bottom of your heart just don't say from the 
for from your mouth words speak it from bottom of your heart and say uh, many a time in a day and then uh, it's a, a second uh, um, second phase of visualization that you you need to see yourself in a screen that uh, you are speaking in a screen and imagine that you are speaking like a native speaker and you are speaking to see yourself, idealize yourself. That's the law. You know all the top business people and entrepreneurs before they get started uh, their venture, when they start their business, before they start their business, they have uh, positive expectations from their life. They always say that I gotta be the most richest person. And when they invest money, they are expecting very high. They idealize that we gotta be the richest person and we gonna get a lot of money we will get a lot of return on the investment we are making right now so uh, you need to expand very positively from your life and this will bring a positive energy and it will bring positive vibes in your life and then you start feeling because it's all about life is all about feeling and your body is totally uh, is about feeling and uh, your body is biologically uh, as a human being we are goals oriented and once you set high expectation and you set a high goal in your mind you would see that would start happening in your life and you would see very positive results in your life whatever you do not just in for speaking English um, matter uh, whatever you're doing in your life whatever you want to achieve in your life just get started just get started with a positive vibe and a positive energy and feel like when you say I am incredible I am confident I love to speak English you would see physiologically biologically you would start feeling that you, you are feeling like a uh, hulk like you know very powerful and you will see you 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 will uh, bring enormous um, change in your life and you you will see the miracles will start happening in your life so everything you start in your life you must start with a positive expectation and with a positive vibes likewise if you want to speak english like native speakers just feel like that you are a native speaker, uh, you are Mike Lipman, you are Brian Tracy, you are uh, Sam, whoever you want to idolize, just feel yourself. Feeling brings a lot of positive change in your life. I personally experience and once you start feeling that you are a native speaker, you would see, you would, you start uh, attracting a lot of positive energy, positive vibes, and uh, you would, you would see like the law of attraction, you know, it starts working for you. And you will see, you will start earning positive relations in your life. And the people uh, around you or the like-minded people, they would start coming in your life and they would start uh, getting connected and you would see uh, the positive relations will, uh, will yield you to uh, as a profitable relationship, as a profit uh, able, uh, relations because the life is all about uh, having the positive relations and then we have to convert all those positive relations into the profitable relations. We, we, uh, we only can uh, really have a, a, a biggest success in our life. If you want to achieve a massive success, then you need to have a positive relations and you need to have positive vibes in your life. The positive vibes that have work a lot for you. You would see you would be a totally different person. And I mostly say in order to achieve what you have never achieved in your life, you have to become a totally different person a totally different person because you have to pay a price you have to pay a sacrifice cost for what you are gonna achieve in your life so don't wait and it's not necessary that you are uh, reading a lot of material you are uh, listening a lot of podcasts and you are listening a lot of uh, videos material or audio materials 
Yes, it matters a lot, but until you don't have a positive feeling about you, that you are a speaker, you are a world class speaker, once you just start feeling like this, you will see, uh, you will start speaking like a native speaker. So it's all about positive energy, what you have to attract in your life. Well, let's move to the next uh, free source. Uh, that is the tag uh, labels on your objects. Tagging is the most valuable thing. You don't need to spend more money if you want to learn more and more vocabulary because the vocabulary is around you and what you need to do is you need to cut the piece of papers and write uh, the names of the stuff and the things and paste it on uh, the objects or on the things and you would see it would create an environment so this point is all about creating the positive environment what can uh, really help you to speak like native speaker or it can help you to speak without spending even a single single penny just tag around you if you are in an IT environment of course it, it really depends uh, who you are in your life what you're doing in your life if you are an ID expert, IT expert, then you are working in IT environment, then you need to uh, learn IT vocabulary. If you are a teacher, then you must know about the teaching vocabulary, the teaching stuff that you use in your life and you speak about it. And if you are a speaker or a trainer, then you need to learn all kind of vocabulary or all kind of phrasal words and all kind of uh, uh, and tongues or uh, synonyms, you you must use. Uh, you must take care that who you are in your environment. I mostly experience with the youngest kids at the school. I mostly I paste. I make a small list, small uh, piece of papers, and I write the names of the stuff and I paste it on the different things and then I tell them so uh, my students they experience it uh, they listen it and then they can see so they can absorb because most people learn what they can see so it's an it would be a greatest greatest experience if you could use these taggings these labels on the stuff on the things what you have around you but take care your English uh, uh, is of course it must be unlimited uh, because you are a speaker but the first thing what comes in your life is you need to learn vocabulary which you are frequently using especially in your environment once I worked in hours that, that was an amazing environment and I was used to talk so many things uh, because everyone wasn't an expert so I trained many people for different things for the different cautions and by displaying uh, different vocabulary words and different things and I guided uh, them a lot like how to uh, speak about the things and how to be understood about the stuff what they're using or what they're talking about so whatever you uh, whatever your environment is you must use that kind of uh, vocabulary uh, or the phrase of words and you need to deploy uh, you need to paste the different labels on the things on the stuff and you will see a great change will start happening in your life so again it's a zero cost it, it you don't need to spend much money with a little little cost you can bring an enormous change and you can feel hulk like you can feel like a native speaker because now you're creating an environment and you are learning 24 over 7 by 365 yes it happens or uh, by tagging labels, if you are a teacher and if you're watching this video, it can be very effective for you. Uh, you in your classroom, at your school, you need to, if you want to increase the vocabulary, like once I experienced, my students, they had a lot of issues to, to learn about uh, 
the clothes vocabulary and they were so young kids they were level one kids at my school so what I did I exhibited and I organized one small workshop and I invite I I requested all the kids to bring one different cloth uh, from your home and they deployed it and uh, in a workshop and over there we we pasted some tags and labels on the stuff and the students they within no time this my workshop lasted for uh, five days and in five days everybody everybody was real experts speaking about uh, the uh, seasonal a clothes vocabulary they were expert that what kind of clothes and we use it in summer in rainy season or in uh, winter or in spring so and it, it helped them a lot really to to speak English about the things what they had a problem otherwise it would have been a difficult uh, project to learn everything about what you are uh, using in your life so that help a lot let's move on to the uh, third point and that is install apps on your gadgets that's most uh, interesting uh, and you don't need to uh, use any kind of uh, extra material or extra kind of uh, things or or anything what uh, what you need to purchase or acquire you just need a cell phone and I'm pretty sure like everybody everybody Although we are quarantined, and I noticed last night that my home, everybody was busy using the cell phone, and somebody was using a uh, tab, and someone was using for laptops. So everybody was using different gadgets. So what you can do is, and uh, normally in our life, one person, if it is, uh, I personally have seven gadgets. So. Uh, Usually, everybody, like if you see around you, they have a lot of gadgets. And uh, if you're a business person, if you're a teacher, if you're a trainer, if you're a layman, and if you are staying back home, whoever you are, you're a household wife, and whoever you are, you have a number of gadgets what you are using every day. So, what you can do is you need to install. Uh, Gadgets. You need to install applications on all your gadgets. Applications regarding how to speak English. Like I personally, when I was at, when I was in China, so I, I, you know, installed all the applications from English to Chinese and from Chinese to English and from uh, like the Mandarin. We call it the Mandarin language. So. I installed applications on all my cell phone, on my cell phone, my laptop, my tab, my iPod, and my everything like you. Know, so I was using them 24 hours. So it, it was helping me a lot. So whatever uh, the gadget I was using, it was helping me to learn Chinese. And I learned, I started to learn Chinese just by applying this formula applying this formula so if you are in China if you are in China and you're watching this podcast so you already know you have applied you have installed so many applications to speak English from Chinese to English and from Chinese to another language you can learn from Japanese if you're Japanese and watching this video so this application kind of uh, applications who can help you to speak English so you can install uh, applications from Japanese to English or from English to Japanese right or uh, from Spanish to English or English to Spanish so it's gonna be a really really helpful for you in your life and I'm pretty sure that like, you are not you just need to go on a Play Store and you will see you will scroll and the hundred thousands maybe billions of uh, uh, the apps are available right now on your play stores and you can install them oh the next uh, is my most favorite and that is that really helps if you are um, if you are student of English or if you are a student so uh, it can really help you so start reading editorial psychology and scientific um, uh, scientific fictions. I would recommend you to read editorials. Uh, it's not important 
um, that you are reading all kinds of editorials, uh, but you can read editorials uh, regarding your field and you need to know your domain. If you know your domain, so you can read articles, you can read editorials uh, in English. You don't you need to stop reading editorials and articles in your mother tongue or in your national language. So better you need to start reading articles. Uh, even uh, if you like sports, you need to uh, read a lot more about sports, but reading English, it would help uh, you to develop your vocabulary and it will help you to bring, bring uh, fluency. And if you are uh, a scientist, of course, you, will, you must start reading uh, in, in scientific fictions, even you are not, if you are just interested uh, to bring fluency, so you must read a scientific fiction or anything about scientific, you need to read about history and uh, you can read about psychology because uh, it's not only uh, improving your English but at the same time you can uh, increase your knowledge, you can accumulate very positive knowledge for your life. So that works uh, really a lot uh, if you're going to read that material and don't read that material in your uh, uh, local language or you must you must read only only and only from the native speaker if you are reading material from your country's writer or authors uh, maybe it won't be so helpful so if you want to get maximum out of your time and you are reading because you are reading all the time and that's very nice ever because readers uh, are the great uh, great leaders they are the readers and readers are the leaders so uh, you need to read in uh, material provided by uh, the native speakers, the native writers, not the non-native writers, because the non-native writers and authors, they just uh, use verbs, but the native speakers and the native authors, they, they mostly use phrasal verbs, and phrasal verb is a verb uh, which uh, gives you a lot of sense uh, by just applying a verb with a preposition and it changes the meaning altogether and that's most significant and important if you want to be fluent and if you want to speak English like native speakers or uh, you want to bring fluency in your communication so uh, if much better way is you go online and you have scholars of websites uh, you can read editorials from there and optimize better you need to optimize in your domain or it's, it's okay if you are reading uh, uh, the general knowledge or the things that are not related to you it's okay uh, but it, it would be much better it would be much valuable if you will read on your domain and you would see you are you would start accumulating uh, a real english or the na native english or the natural english so let's move to uh, the next that is uh, listen online radio oh listen online it's a lot of materials available online and i personally I'm a bit scared that I don't use my eyes much now because maybe I have a different DNA and I'm a bit scared I don't have a great history about uh, my eyes so I have channelized my ears and I listen lots of English and that's my positive key. This is my positive vibe what I could do in my life is I started to listen. I don't read much because I don't want to use my eyes. So one of my friends helped me a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I was reading, I was uh, a bit scared at how to read my PDF files, blah, blah. So my friend helped me really to install a read aloud application. And read aloud application helps you. If you go on a PDF book, you just need to click on the option and that book starts reading for you right and you start just listening at your headphone and go ahead and you would enjoy a lot 
So that's uh, one amazing application what I recently have started to use to improve uh, my vocabulary and I, I use uh, this application really to read uh, rather to read uh, to listen a lot of material I don't read much I listen a lot listen listen a lot and that's a key that if you want to speak like native speakers or if you want to speak English then uh, you need to listen a lot. That's my strength. That's my strength. I listen a lot and I personally have written tons of Chibi's data and I'm not scared. I never get bored. Even I'm jogging, I'm walking, I'm traveling, I'm listening. I don't have much time to listen unproductive talk. So I mostly spend my time busy listening. I'm listening a lot. I my all gadgets have all the materials, my books, I have my uh, audiobooks. I have downloaded so many audiobooks and I have developed my own library at my gadgets in my laptop and there I just what uh, uh, I'm 24 over 7 like so I'm I'm listening. I'm listening and I have listened a lot of books, a lot of books on psychology and science and I listen a lot of podcasts from Tony Robbins, Russ Brown, Louis Hay, Bob Proctor, Brian Tracy and Six Sigler and a lot of other Jim Ron. So it's a long list. I have listened hundreds of hundreds of um, speakers, hundreds of uh, 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 philosophers and hundreds of like uh, the people so that could help me because uh, your life is average of the people the five people you spend your most time with so I have spent a lot of my time in listening and watching these top great people so uh, listen online one more my most favorite channel what I would recommend you and that's free of cost available uh, You just need to go on Google and just type Fox News radio and you would get the application and you would start listening Fox News radio Online and you don't need to spend with uh, Very average bandwidth you you can improve you can improve your English by listening Fox News Fox News is my most favorite channel because it's quite indigenous American Channel and I listen a lot. I personally have listened. Oh my God! I, every time, every time, every day, you know, whenever I have time, I'm listening online to the Fox News channels because the speakers out there they are very much native. They they speak very clear English. Although if you are improved in and if you are focused to improve your uh, British English, so you can listen BBC or on CNN you would see is kind of blend and so many speakers from the different part of the world like they come on the channel and they're speaking because CNN is is run by and has been killed by uh, by the community from uh, the different part of the community from the world so my most favorite channels are VOA is the voice of America and you can download you can watch online on YouTube just write VOA or on Google and you are just one step away really to improve your listening and this listening can help you uh, really really uh, can get you onto the next conscious level to speak English like native so uh, listen online as much as you can and that is a very helpful tool I personally spend I spend I listen online radios and that not only the Fox News there are millions of American online uh, channels where I just get I just refresh myself by listening news and uh, sometimes uh, listening a lot of songs oh my god that's another technique you can listen a lot of songs and uh, it could help you a lot really that how vocabulary is uh, being used over there and America Plus uh, or and HBO, my most favorite channel, I started to learn English from HBO and there I noticed, uh, I noticed, I watched over there that how people speak and what kind of body language they use while they speak. So uh, you can listen and at the same time you can watch the Fox News, news or 
HBO or CNN or, or the VOA. In VOA, Voice of America, like uh, there's a website, and on the website you can listen. This is uh, uh, Voice of America. It's an online uh, radio channel, or you can watch VOA uh, on YouTube.